The UN says it has noted an increase in messages inciting the Congolese population to attack Kenya Rwanda speakers in the DRC. The hate messages have been spread by politicians, community leaders and members of the Congolese diaspora. They come a week after fighting broke out between Congolese forces and rebels of the M23 group who recently captured the border town of Bunagana. We are very uh, worried uh, about the, the raise in hate speech and the calls for violence that we can see uh, targeting certain communities in North Kivu. We do understand that there is a lot of tension. We do understand that the situation has been extremely difficult for the populations uh, living in, in Goma and around Goma in North Kivu for a long time now. But we do need all communities to stand together, to stick together, because it's in nobody's interest to, have, to add instability to instability. Congolese authorities is accused Rwanda of funding and arming the M23 rebels, but Rwanda has repeatedly denied the accusations. The UN has called for dialogue and the peaceful coexistence of all communities in the DRC. Leaders of the East African community met in the Kenyan capital Nairobi on Monday and agreed to deploy a regional force to restore peace in eastern DRC. But the DRC has made it clear that it will not allow Rwandan troops to be included in that force. Relations between the two neighboring countries have been deep deeply strained over a recent attack in eastern DRC by the M23 rebels. The rebel group is largely composed of ethnic Tutsis who accuse the DRC government of marginalizing them. The fighting has displaced more than 25,000 people in the territory of Ruchuru. Chris Sochamringa, SABC News, Kinshasa.